Shalom, shalom. First of all, most want to give all praise and glory and honor due unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets. Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. You know, this is a call to Zion coming back at you again with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. And uh, basically, the title of this lesson is going to be Psalms, the 66 chapter. And and just uh you know went over this chapter, you know it's a it's a very 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 uplifting chapter, and and this is chapter is talking about you know basically David you know he's praising the Most High, you know and that's what you know that what we should do we should praise the Most High for all His wonderful works and His terrible power and how He's going to uh He's going to seduce our enemies. Uh, under our feet, you know, he gonna send his son Yahweh shot back to, you know, to trump our enemies under our feet and to establish his kingdom here on earth. You know, after you know Yahweh shot comes back, he takes down Esau, Edom's kingdom. But this chapter is very, it's a very edifying chapter, and for you, and for those who just waking up in truth. You will understand that uh, Psalms 66 chapter is a very enthusiastic chapter. It's a very cha good chapter, you know, to sink your teeth into and to uh, understand the our power of Yahweh, by Shemi Hausha, and how the great and great and mighty our power is. And that's the reason why when we do this, we always give, give uh, praise, glory, honor, do unto him, unto Yahweh and Son Yahusha. Because they, their power is great and it's terrible power uh, beyond our comprehension. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into Psalms the 66 chapter. You know, just, I, I haven't written down any notes. You know, just going to go by the Spirit, power, y'all, by the shame, how shot. If any precepts go come out, then I pray, and pray that the lesson be edified. It says, uh, some, I'm starting Psalms 66 chapter. Well, I'm going to start at the top at the first verse. It reads, Make a joyful noise unto Yahweh, all ye lands. And, and uh, it's another scripture in the Apocrypha, you know, goes into, we should praise him with everything we have, you know, just roughly paraphrasing. It, it says to effect that you can never go far enough. It doesn't matter how much praise that you give him, he exceeds above and beyond all the praise that you can give him. You know, and every while when you praise him, you have to put your all and all into it. You know, you just can't, you know, go and, and have praise the most high, man. You know, you have to give your all when you praise y'all by Shimmy Shah because, because you have to understand how great and terrible his, the, you know, his power is, man. How great and terrible our power Yahweh. You know, and it's on Yahweh Shah, their power is very terrible. And the scripture says in, uh, I believe it's uh, Hebrews chapter 12, I, I believe roughly, right, I think it's, I believe it's, uh, uh, let me look it up, I don't want to butcher it. You know what I'm saying? The scripture said to a fair, it's a, it's a terrible thing, to terrible thing to fall into the hands of a living power. So, I have to understand that, uh, you know, I have to understand that our power is a terrible power, man. He's nothing to play with, and that's the reason why if you're going to worship him as your house, I said, you have to worship him in spirit and in truth, man. You can't, we can't, you can't worship him any type of way, and that goes for anybody that that's in this, uh, you know, waking up to the truth. You know, we have to praise our power, and I believe it's Hebrews 10, I believe it's, uh, it, it is Hebrews 10 and 31. It say it, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. You know, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of, of your howl, man. You know, especially, you know, you don't want to be on his bad side. Because when you're on his bad side, a lot of terrible things can happen to you, man. He can cause you to be bugged out. You know, he can, he can put de he can send, put demons on you. He can do a lot of, a lot of things. But you know this this chapter is about you know praising Most High and we should praise Him mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of all the things that He's done. You know, continue on verse two. It says, "Sing forth the honor of His name, make 
make his praise glorious. How you make his praise glorious? By doing the work, by living for him, by uh, uh, teaching and preaching the gospel. You know, if that's your lot, if that's not your lot, you know, you're doing everything you can to, you know, to uh, represent Yahweh and Son Yahweh Shai, you know, in the right way, in the right light, man. And, and that's what it's all about. When you you want to make it praise glorious, you know, you did right, man. Keep the law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability. You know, uh, observe the, uh, the Sabbath day, you know. Keep keep uh, keep his law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. You know, that's how he's seen forth his praising, man. You know, you praise him, and you keep his law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, and, and do the work he has for you to do. And continuing on, uh, verse 3, it says, Say, say unto Yahweh, how terrible are thy works. Through, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. And and, and it's going to happen when uh, when um, Yahashua comes back and he takes down Esau Eden's kingdom and he stops his kingdom on earth. All the all the nations going to be subject unto him, man. It's going to, they, all nations going to be subject unto Israel, but mainly under Yahweh and son Yahashua. You know, as well, you know, King David, you know, the apostles, you know, the 144,000 elect, you know, and, and the rest of Israel, man. The enemy's going to be under us, but but uh, we're we going to understand that it, it's because of our power, Yahweh and Son, Yahweh, child. You know, you know, we got to, you know, if you understand the severity of their power, you will understand that, that Yahweh and Son, Yahweh, child, is nothing to play with. You know, that's really why we tell our people to repent and come back to our power because our power is an awesome power. You see, Yahweh is a very awesome power. Once you get to know him, once he opens you up your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of his gospel, of his truth, it makes it more sweeter that he gives you the revelation, the wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding of his truth. Mm -hmm. So how can you not praise the Most High? You know, how can you sit there and not praise him when... When he opens up your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the truth, and he allow and he gives you the opportunity to hear the gospel, and he opens up your he opens up your mind, your understanding to receive his truth, and that's more the reason to praise him, and and, and also more the reason to praise him is because you see the things that are going on in the, in the world, you see that the Most High Yahweh Bashemi Shai is making his move, he he strategically putting up putting uh, the prophecies together, man. You know, that's a beautiful thing. And our enemies, you know, they can't stop it, you know. They they don't know what to do. And that's more reason to praise the Most High. Because of his great and terrible power, man. And his mighty work that he's doing throughout the earth. You see? Everybody said, well, the man doing this, man doing that. The scripture said, the, a man's going is of Yahweh. How can a man understand his own way? You see, it don't matter what you know they, they you know they doing because yeah, what well, it's all in the, it, it's all done by y'all by Shem Yahweh shot man. He controls everything. You know he he gets the okay. Nothing goes on in this world unless you how by Shem Yahweh shot gets the okay. And that's a and that's a and that's a great thing to to appraise uh, him man to see that that he's uh he's take he's gonna be taking down our enemies. Verse four. It said, All the earth shall worship thee and, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing unto thy name, Salah. Come and see the words of Yahweh. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. You see, he's, you know, he, he, he's going to, uh, you know, he, he's going to put the beat down, beat down on, the, on uh, these other nations, man, on how they did the children of Israel. You know, the Most High is fighting for his people. And, and we tell our people the Most High is fighting for you, man. Why don't you repent and turn back to the uh, law, statute, commandments of Yahweh by Hashem and Hashem and, and serve Him to the best of your ability? Why, why you, you know you trying to hang on to this society, man? This society don't care about you. Yeah, you see Yahweh by Hashem and Hashem is fighting for His people, man. Well, he, he man, he's fighting for the elect. Well, you, we, well, we know that he's fighting for Israel, but mainly the elect of Israel. And, and that reason why, 
you know, the men of the Lord is praising the Most High. That's why they give him praise, glory, and honor because he's, they see that he's fighting for them, man. And, and it's a very beautiful thing he fighting for us. He fighting for his, his chosen people. And it's a great time to build, you know, build Israelite. Why well, it's a great time? Because we see that the Most High is fighting for his people. We see that the great and mighty works that he's doing upon the earth. And we see that he's a terrible power. And he's somebody that we, we should, you know, depend on daily. You know, for, for all our needs. We should see, you know, we depend on him for to make it day to day, even though we have things may go on in our life, but we still need to depend on him and trust him because we know that he's gonna he's going to uh, fight for us. It, and that's if we keep his law, statute, commands to the best of our ability, and that's if we walk in uh, hand in hand with him, man. That's what, you know we got to do. We got to do the work also, man. You know, it's locking for that. It, it reads that. Uh, I'm, I'm in verse 6, uh, uh, Psalm 66 and 6. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the f flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. And this is talking about our forefather that left Egypt and they got to the Red Sea. You know, you can read that in the book of Esther. I don't know the exact chapter, but it's in the book of Esther where it talks about, where it shows that the Most High command the most to stretch out the rod. And, and, and he divided the Red Sea and the children of Israel were able to go on dry land. And and once they got on dry land, you know, Pharaoh pursued after them and most I told Yahweh told Moses to stretch out a rod. And when he did that, all the inhabitants uh, of Pharaoh, they drowned in the in the Red Sea, man. You know, that's what this is talking about. You know, they 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 uh he turned the sea into dry land, which he was talking about the Red Sea, and that's another reason why we should pray Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. He showed his he showed his power. Because he said in the scripture, he said he's gonna he, he said he said unto Pharaoh, for this cause I ra I raised thee up to show my power to to declare myself throughout the earth, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And that's what that's the reason why he you know, he raised up Esau Eden. We know that he's the wicked. But now however, you know, he's doing that cause he's gonna he gonna destroy them. He's gonna show his power. You know, he's gonna show his power throughout the earth that, that he is he is how he he is the power. You know, he is the power of, of heaven and earth. And there's no power like him, man. You see, that's another reason why we should praise the most high. There's no other power like him, but in and, and, and he and he loves Jacob, man. He loves the children of Israel. But we gotta but our people need to wake up and repent. But we know that they're not. But guess what? We still praise our power, man, because we know that he's gonna he's fighting for his people. And, and that's what this is all about. And continuing on, it's uh ver verse seven. He he ruled it by his power forever, his eyes behold the nations, let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Salah. Oh bless our power, ye people, and and make the voice of his praise to be heard. How you make his voice, his praise to be heard? By, like I said, keep the law, statute, commandments. You know, by by praising his name, and by by doing the work. You know, by keeping his law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability, and by being a light unto this dark world, man. To to not follow the ways of of this society. You know, well, society mean you know, aka Babylon the Great. You know, you don't follow the ways of Babylon the Great. You follow the ways of your how by Shimmy How Shah. And once you follow his ways, you know, you making your light shine. Even your how Shah said, I believe in the book of Matthew, let your light shine before men so that they may see your good works and glorify your how which is in heaven. Glorify the Father. How you glorify the Father? Like I said, you keep the law, statute, commandments. You know, you, you live your life. For you how about Shem how shy every day? You know, you out there on the highways, byways teaching. Are you doing, you know, YouTube lesson, you know, edifying the sheep? You know, the sheep need to be fed. You know, even your how shy told Peter, if you love me, you'll feed my sheep. You know, you you you'll do the work. You know, you love me, you'll keep his commandments. And the scripture said that his commandments are not grievous. And that word grievous means it's, you know it's not hard, man. It's not hard to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, but you got to have your house by Shimmy House shot in you to, 
to, to keep his law, third commandment, to the best of your ability. You see, you got to, you know, you got to be chosen by Yahweh by Hashem and Al-Shah. You know, you don't get to choose him. He gets to choose you to, to receive his wisdom, not to understand of his truth. And that's the reason why we praise Yahweh by Hashem and Al-Shah. Because, get what? He could allow us to be bugged out. He could allow us to still be in the world. He could allow us to still be under Christianity. He can allow us to still be uh, be in these different religions. He could allow us to still be out there game banging and doing whatever we were doing before we came into it. But it's about the power and grace of Yahweh by Shem Shah that he woke us up, you know, through the men of the Lord, through the true prophets, through the apostles and elders, you know. They you know bringing out their truth, man, and, 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 he, and, he, and the truth, you know, resonate with us, and, and he's he put his spirit up on us to wake up and to and to realize that this is the truth because the scripture said, you know, this is the way, walk ye in it, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, that's really why we praise y'all by Shem Al Shah. We, you know, he, he allows us to, to get a taste of this truth, you know. And, and you know it different parable you how shot went you know it's a parable about you know the late uh the woman that swept through the house and, and when she found that penny she rejoiced you know and, and that penny represents this truth you know you you go to and fro throughout the earth you know searching for the truth truth and you go to you know this religion that religion that religion that religion and you can't find it until you how about shame and how shall open up your understanding through the prophet through the man of the lord and you was able to receive this truth. And, and once you able to see the truth, you know, if you're a true, uh, if you are the elect, you're gonna hang on to this truth for dear life. You're not gonna let it go, man. No matter what's going on in your life, you're gonna hang on to, to this truth because this truth is, is is sweet. You know, it's a sweet thing to hold on to. But but we also know at the same time it's bitter too because of you know all the stuff that 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 that, that, that go with it. you know all the uh you know all the disappointments and everything but guess what we still hang on to this truth because we know that that this is the true world of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah and, and and we praise him for that and that and and that's why we continue to praise him we make his praise we we make make him known throughout the earth by by teaching law statute commandments by praising him. And continue on verse nine. It says, "Which holding our soul in life, and suffering not our feet to be moved." And you can read that in the book of John when Yahweh said, "All that you gave me, I kept them. I, I, I did not lose one." You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, whoever that that Yahweh gave to Yahweh, you know, he held on to it. And, you know, we pray that we be the old men of the Lord that that we part the one that he hold on to. You see. And, and and every why we praise him because we know, uh, we don't know, but we pr we pray that we are part of the elect. You see, and then we out there doing the work because Peter and I believe First Peter said one and ten said make thy calling and election sure. You know we praise him by doing what he tell us to do. Verse ten it said for thou O power hath hath proved us hath tried us as silver is tried. And you see this, you can read that in Zechariah 13, 9. It said, you know, the third, he's going to bring through the fire, you know, through the Jacob's trouble, through all these other trials that go along. And, and get what? We're going to be tried to see what's tried. And, you know, I think try to go, try, you know, you know, I'm just going to get it. I'm going to read uh, uh, Zechariah 13 and 9. I'm just going to get it. You know, I'm kind of butchering it pretty badly. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. And this is going to happen to, we already know what happened to 2 two thirds Zechariah 13, 8. But we're going to read verse 9. We're going to talk about the third part, you know, which is the elect. It says, I will bring the third part through the fire, and we will find them as silver is refined, and we'll try, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call, up, call on my name, and I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh. It's my power. And, and the third part is going to be try to see what and they we try to go, man. They'll come out or they try to go, man. And, and, and once we come out of there, you know, they're going to they'll help us praise your house with them even more. Because he didn't, have to, he didn't have to bring us out of our situation. He could have left us where we was at. 
but guess what? You know, he, he had love for Israel. He had love for the elect of Israel. And he wasn't going to allow them to stay in, that, in the situation. He didn't allow us to stay in the situation that we was in. He didn't allow us to, to you know, allow us to smoke and dope and, and game banging and, and, and being with this woman, that woman, and, and doing this and doing that. You know, doing things that there's other of the world. He, he brought us out of that. You see, and that's really why we praise him, and we and we do the work because he didn't have to do what he do. He could have left us in our in our wrong condition, but he didn't. You know, and, and we know that in my time when we go to Jacob Trouble, he gonna try try us. He gonna he gonna shake the impurity out of us, and then once your house shall return, we appreciate the glory even more. You see, verse eleven. It said, "Thou brought us up, us unto the net. Thou us affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through the water, but Thou brought us us out into a wealthy place. And 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 you, when you understand that scripture, you know you'll be praised from the Most High because you're gonna go through the fire. You're gonna go through the water. You're gonna go through the trials and tribulations. You're gonna go through Jacob's trouble. You're gonna go through when." Your family turning their back on you. They turning you in. You know, you being persecuted. And even throughout all that, you're going to, you know, you the man of the Lord. You know, you the man of the Lord. You're going to remember the scripture. You're going to remember, you know, what Yahweh did and what he said in his word. And that's the reason why the scripture said, Thy word I hear in my heart, that I may not sin against thee. You see, when you hide the word in the heart, you're going to remember those things. You're going to remember uh, what, what, you know, uh, what's going on? Remember that you're going through these trials and tests, and you're going and, and you be let You're going to come out. You're going to be coming to this wealthy place. What's this wealthy place? This wealthy place is going to be y'all with me. Make it be those cherries. You know we be on those cherries. But guess what? If you know you be a martyr, y'all by shame y'all shot. The scripture said that the dead in y'all shot is going to rise up first. Those who die in y'all shot is going to rise up first. That's First Corinthians chapter. 15 round verse 50 through 58 you see and that's another reason why we praise the most high because if you know if we become martyrs of Yahweh by Shimei HaShah uh, we make it to the end get what we're going to be into that wealthy place we're going to receive those crowns we're going to receive the benefits you see and another reason why another reason to praise I'm, I'm going to get you uh, uh, John chapter 14 it's a very favorite favorite scripture John chapter 14 we're going to start at the first verse it, and it reads it says let not your heart be troubled believe ye in Yahweh believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if if it were not so I would have told you I go and prepare a place for you and, and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself where, there, where I am, they, there ye may be also. And this is talking about, you know, when your house shall return. You know, he he's gonna prepare a place for us. You know, and he said, if one so, he would he would have told us. You know, and 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 we'll be able in the kingdom. We'll be able to go to different planets. We'll be able to go to different galaxies. You know, we'll be do with that spiritual power. And that's another, and that's a, and that also a reason why we praise the Most High. He's gonna do, he gonna endow his people with spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? We, we're not, we're gonna have new, new mortal, uh, new bodies, man. New and, and more bodies. You know, bodies that don't get sick, don't get decayed, don't, and not uh, uh, susceptible to disease. You know, you'll be, you'll be able to, to, uh, uh, uh you, you'll be able. You know what I'm saying? To to not be sick, you see, you'll be able to do things that you know wouldn't do in this in this chains of darkness. You know, it's being a, a, a child of the most high, it's being a child uh, of being an Israelite. You know, it's a lot of benefits of being an Israelite. And, and it's it's mind boggling to me why our people will reject this. But we already know why they reject it. But but it just it just don't you know it's just hard to well it's not hard but it's crazy to understand how people rejected wisdom and knowledge of the Most High and, and like the more 
that the Most High trying to give to our people, they reject it. But, you know, we're going to continue on because this is top of my praise in the Most High. You see, we're going to continue on. It's a, and, and when Psalm 66 and 13, it said, I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my, my vows, which my lips had uttered, and my mouth had spoken when I was in trouble. And, and how do you... uh? Uh, how do you pay your vows? You pay your vows by by walking in the ways of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You see, we, we uh the mo uh, Yahweh Shah died for the, for Israel, made for the left of Israel. So we do not have to ha uh, brain burn off. We bring ourselves. We bring ourselves as a sacrifice to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, and we and we repent and we turn back to His law, statute, commandments. You see. Verse 15, it said, and I will offer to thee burnt sacrifice of fatness and with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks and with goats. Salah. Come and hear all ye that fear Yahweh. And I will declare what he had done unto my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the uh, Yahweh will not hear me. And, and every why every day. You know we, you know we, uh, the scripture tells us to sin less. You see, cause we don't, cause we don't want to be, be uh, you know, as Dave said in Psalms, I believe it's 50 and 10. Let me get that real quick. We don't want him to take his spirit from us. You see, it's a 51 and 10. It said, "Create in me a clean heart, O, O power, and renew a right spirit within me." Cast me, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And we don't want the Most High to take His Spirit from us. You know, we don't want Him to take His Spirit from us because His Spirit is a very beautiful thing to have. We don't want Him to take that from us. And every reason why, every reason why David said, you know, don't take a Holy Spirit from me. And we pray that Yah Bashim outside that He don't take His Spirit from us, man. When we and we pray that we do everything we're supposed to do. That he calls for us to do, and, and what's that? And, and that's to keep his law, statute, commandments. And let's do the work he has for him to do. Because your house shall say his meat is to do the will of the fa his father that sent them. You know, roughly paraphrasing. That's our. This should be our meat to do the will of your house by Shem Shah to give him all the praise, glory, and honor that's due unto him. Because you can never go far enough in praising the Most High. Uh, so like it. It's at verse 19. It said, Verily, Yahweh had heard me. He had attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be Yahweh, which had not turned away my prayer, nor he had his mercy from me. And we need, we have to bless Yahweh. And we, if we're doing the right things and doing what he called for us to do, and, and, and we walk and keep in all statutes and commandments, you know, he will be attentive to our prayer. He'll be attentive to what we have to say because he knows uh, those who are doing the will and who are doing the work and, and those who doesn't. You know, the scripture says you ain't doing the work. Even your prayers will be an abomination, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, the basis say if you turn your, turn your ear away from hearing the law, then your prayers will be an abomination. You know, so like it for that. But, you know, it, this chapter, Psalm 66 chapter, is a very great chapter. You know, it's a very great chapter, and and it shows you the the power, the it shows the greatness of our power Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shah. It shows you the great and marvelous things that they can do, and it shows that He they gonna bring us into a wealthy place. Even you know after we go through the fire of Jacob's trouble, the mark of the beast. You know, and and all these viruses that are going on earth, the place, and everything else. He, let me get another scripture. You know, and it's another reason why I pray y'all about Shem How Shah. You know, the scripture came to mind. You know, I pray to the Most High. It's Isaiah 59 and 19. Another favorite scripture. It reads, "So shall, so shall they free the name of Yahweh from the west, and His glory from the rising of the sun." When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. And the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall lift up a standard against thy enemies. 
our enemy is going to be is going to be underneath us. He said, and even David said in Psalm, Psalms 100, 100, I think 105th chapter, you know, he brother could correct me on that. It said, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit down on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. And it was talking about Yahushua. Yahushua is sitting on the right hand of Yahweh until it's time for him to come back and put the enemies on his feet. You know, in which it started with Esau Edom then going down to the other nations. So, you know, I pray that this lesson will edify and just remember that if you ever down in your spirit, read Psalm 66 chapter and, uh, and, and let it be meditating your heart, meditating your mind, and understand the power of Yahweh by Shem Shah and how great his power is. And like I said before in, 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 a, in Apocrypha, it said we can, I said, we should, we should praise on everything we have. You know, roughly paraphrased, it said that we can never go far enough in praising the Most High. You can never go far enough. And that's it for a lesson. And I pray that this lesson is edified. I want to say, call the Holy, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rukakadash, double honors to the Apostle, Elders, and Prophets. No respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. <laughs> See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh willing. Shalom.